Hi everyone. This is why I say GOP presidential candidate Herman Cain hates being black. Listen to this from ABC's The View yesterday. He said that if you do run against Obama, you probably get about a third of the African-American vote. But the yes. other two-thirds, you said to Wolf Blitzer, are brainwashed into voting for Obama again. Um, you received a backlash for that as well. Yes. Uh, do you still stand by that statement? I absolutely do, and here's why. I'm glad that you pointed out, and I said this in my statement, the good news is a lot of black Americans are thinking for themselves. Yes. Now, there are some that are so brainwashed that they won't even consider a conservative idea. What do you do about that? Well, th you save the savable, and if they're not savable because they don't even want to hear the idea that, about my 999 plan, I tried to give that to some people, and they didn't want it because they saw me as a Republican, they saw me as a conservative. I call that being brainwashed, not being open-minded well, to exactly another idea. Republican Party. Think about it. It's not what he said, but how he said it. He said, some can't be saved. He talked about African Americans, of which he is, as if we are the other. That is what I don't like about Herman Cain. And it's not because he's a Republican GOP candidate. Remember, when Michael Steele was chairman of the Republican Party, he never talked that way. He never talked in a way that made you think he was ashamed to be African American. But that is how Herman Cain talks. And thus is the seed of his popularity with people who are white who someone else would say are racist. He is a self-hating black man, he being Herman Cain. And he's using this undoubtedly, undoubtedly childhood born self-hatred to fuel his candidacy and it's ugly. So think about his words. Just roll back a bit and think about his words, roll back in the video a bit and think about his words as you listen to them. Some can't be saved. Words that imply the other. When in point of fact he is not the other from anyone else who is African American. There are other black Republicans, you know. So I I really find Herman Cain's worldview when it comes to African Americans distasteful, and I don't normally say that. I'm not a person who tries to be black, or I could care less what anyone thinks about me if they look at me and say, well, as a black person he is this or that. I don't care, and I've never tried to be that big fish in a small pond. I believe in being a big fish in a big pond. I don't believe in demonizing African Americans along the way. Herman Cain, somewhere in his mind, thinks that in order to succeed, he has to refer to us and himself in that way. And that is why he will fail.